Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Victoria 3 as Mexico, and for the second time in our game, war is coming. The United States is coming knocking. They want the California back. Also, Texas, Utah, Nevada, and Mexico all have been made primary demands. Colorado, like, eh, I guess if I have to. I'm gonna try to get them to revoke at least one of their claims over here. We might just have to white peace out, which is what happened last time. Great Britain, we do have a defensive pact with them and they did immediately come in. I'm not gonna deploy my one naval ship over here. In fact, maybe I should just, why am I paying for maintenance on this thing if I'm never using it, right? Unless I should start building up a navy, just gain some control over the Gulf of Mexico. Feels hard to imagine that we're gonna be anywhere close to being able to defend versus uh, the United States at sea though. So, yeah. Mm hmm hmm. Do, 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 do. All right, Britain's showing up, getting some numbers. All my troops are simply set to defense. All defend all the time. The only thing I want to do, make sure to do is not lose any territory. That's our primary goal. Lots of construction going on. We are spending a lot of money right now, but that's okay. There you go, war has broken out. So in theory, more troops, assuming the Brits have brought everything they've got. Ooh, and the Brits are pushing here with a lot of forces. America's got a good defense score, but the amount of troops is a huge change here. All right, more troops coming over this way. Battle here. Great Britain pushing again. Oh my. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Ammunition trade route is gone completely. Can we import some engines from somewhere? Not from the Spanish market without even having to go overseas. I mean, that's not a lot of engines, but it's something. Wow, look at this push. Okay. Here the Brits are being pushed back. I mean, I assume America is going to be pushing in some of these places. But no, it's all Great Britain pushing everywhere. Getting another success here. Mm, I thought they were going to maybe get one here, but it looks like no. Okay. I mean, America's trying to advance somewhere. Hopefully when they do, they just run into my well-entrenched troops and just spend themselves. Right now, they're just being hammered everywhere. Oh, that's going to be another loss for them here. Wow. Okay. Well, let me tell you something. All those times I second guess myself about, you know, making, a, developing a great friendship with Great Britain. Yeah, those doubts are gone. Because this is working out exceptionally well. It's like, oh, maybe I should have put more war goals in there. Yeah, they're stalled at 99.8. I think they keep getting uh, pulled into defensive battles here. So they can never actually advance. There might end up being a gap here. Some of these battles sort of burn down. I think Great Britain's got to chill a little bit. I'm having a hard time pushing here. All right, new election. Oh, we're at 100% righteous. These guys have split. So the intelligentsia have split off to the Liberal Party. Petit Bourgeoisie would like to join the Free Trade Party. That's interesting. I don't feel like you're going to support anything I particularly want. Yeah, so I'm not going to pull you into government. I'm going to keep with exactly what we've got right now. Still constructing all these furniture manufacturers. Oh, no, they're still not advancing. They may have uh, changed their army modes to defend. Or maybe they, they can't. Maybe they only attack when they're at full org, and maybe they're not getting to full org at any point. Wow, it is just a one-sided push fest from the UK. At some point, they're starting to not do so well. Really would like to tell them to, to relax for a little bit. They might be barring my troops as well, which is another thing. Actually, is that something I have to enable? Because there was something in the patch notes about changing the way... Some of that works. Formation setting. Oh, allow borrowing and leading lending of troops. 
I mean, I guess. Although, if they're just throwing away stuff at the front kind of pointlessly, it's not going to feel great. I find out it's just the Army of Ireland. So presumably they didn't borrow any troops. I think they may have not borrowed any troops. Melvin's improving relations. Oh, okay. Cool. Groovy. Northern Cape is gone. Market access keeps sort of fluctuating a little bit, but overall it's okay. Yeah, the American side is at the negative. Well, I mean, first of all, we would like to ask for this. It looks like they'd accept a white piece right now. Oh my god, they're minus three for this. They're gonna GG out soon and revoke some of their claims and give me reparations? Okay, good. So we're gonna set an even... Oh, there we go. Propose, propose peace deal. Shite. I, sh I hadn't realized I could have asked for so much more. And they would have been cool with it. So the US no longer has a claim on California. Indeed, don't see it there. Right? You can see a claim here. Not on California. They still have claims everywhere else because for whatever reason, I can only war for like one claim at a time. Huh. I mean, I suppose with the idea that Great Britain was going to get called in, maybe regardless of their defensive pact, maybe I, I could have asked for a little more. Because I, I, I can still just peace out without taking it in the end. Was I too conservative? I don't know. All right, I'll leave my, um, my military with their proper settings so we don't get caught out again. I assume our truce is a fairly short one again. Yeah, four years left. It might have been a five-year truce, but they're just rounding it down because a little bit of time has ticked. War reps. How much money am I getting from the war reparations? Diplomatic packs, I guess. I'm sorry, 26k? <laughs> I don't actually have that many workers available there. Let me drop five in the Yucatan as well. It's more construction sectors. We can definitely support it. Do I build a navy and just try to hold on to the Gulf of Mexico? I mean, we're not feeling like naval invasion or anything. I guess I can use it to um, to build up my military as well. Annex subject, North India. All right. Well, you have fun there, Great Britain. If we have a truce with the U.S., can they join? That's their flag there. I'm trying to see. That's not the United States. I would assume Great Britain wouldn't go against us. Apparently, there's not a real good way to make a, get a preview of any of this. Like, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, I've, I've sort of got, like, I'm in an EU4 mindset right now. Like, don't I want to just conquer tons of stuff? I don't know if there'd be great value in conquering South. You know? We've got lots of things we can do in our existing land. Our population is growing well. Uh, there we go. Standard living is above a 12 here. We'll need multiculturalism. We might, I might go for, um... Uh, human rights is a social tech after we get our steel frame buildings. <laughs> you know what? I think we can raise the minimum standard living requirement in Jalisco. I think Jalisco is going to keep having great things happen to it. Yeah, no peasants whatsoever. Lots of job seekers. Um, but these, So these are people... Hold on. So this is a little bit misleading then. Because we don't actually have anyone to hire. I'm realizing now, it might be the most helpful when we go to build a new building, instead of being on job seekers mode now, which is people looking for job upgrades, we might want to filter into peasants and or unemployed. Because realistically, those, those are proper job seekers. Because we're uh, the other way, we're just taking jobs away from one factory and putting it somewhere else. 
So I think I will probably want to be on, let's say, peasant mode. Anything new in the journal? Oh, yeah, the urbanized Mexico has been there forever. Yeah, just have states with urban centers equal to five. Which we don't have direct control over. It's just you get urbanization for building industry, which then builds the industrial centers. Okay. I mean, wood price is no longer crazy. Chihuahua standard living isn't as high as it could be. And you do have some peasants. How's the price of lead? Quite low. No real demand for the more livestock ranches either. Um, I mean, wood is still fine. Transportation price is kind of high here. You know what? Let's get you another railway. It's not capped, but it's still high. So we're going to build one of those. And then I'll go ahead and just finish off your lumber, your logging camps. But yeah, so the hope... Chappas just got its furniture manufacturer. Hopefully it can hire. There we go. Profitable. Good. Input prices are fine. We might get more uh, demand for hardwood now. We might have to switch a little bit more of our lumber over to hardwood because we're making fancy furniture. Which actually the price is low. We should export um, our fancy furniture. These are pretty low amounts. But sure, we'll export some to Oyo. We, hold on, I add, oh, that was for luxury clothes. Okay. I'm warning about a food um, industry in every province. So every province will have a slightly improved cost for groceries. Now, not every province has got raw food creation to feed into there. Although that could be, you know, something else that gets developed over time. But it should still be good for the food prices. Any extra coal mines? Input goods. Oh, your transportation over here in Opaka. Hang on, let me alt-click. I'm going to alt-click two railroads for you. I don't have enough authority to do anything here. We could cancel some of these greener grasses things. Yeah, but I mean, they really don't have any workers. And Nevada does actually have some peasants finally. And some unemployed? Who does? How's, um, how's the price of iron? Not that high right now. I'm going to a logging camp anyway. Uh, we're going to go for the migration attraction side of things. I don't think there's any laws. Guaranteed liberties. I think it's tricksy because there's some things that... Home affairs. Bureaucracy costs from the home affairs, yeah. Which we can take. Revolution succession goes down. A few radicals more loyalists. I mean, it sounds good. I think... Right, this is not protected speech. Protected speech makes it so we can't bolster or suppress. I think guaranteed liberties is fine for us. Okay, let's throw it in there. Oh my god, all this money. So crazy. We're still... Are we still on minimum taxes? Oh no, I did bring them up for the war. Right, let's drop down to nothing for a little while. Because we can. I mean, it's not actually nothing, but still. Okay, getting a railway in Oaxaca. I think is going to be really good. <clears throat> it is getting, I think, a construction deficit because of the... Oh, no, it's infrastructure. fine. Okay, right. It was just transportation, which ideally would come from our urban centers. Again, we don't have any manual control over this. Other than build more industry, then we get more industrialization. Raising concerns. Intelligentsia get a boost at a cost of industrialists. They, they're both super happy. I'll do this because I don't want to lose their political strength. I want to keep them nice and strong. New South Wales. That's Straya. 
Uh, intelligence, you're losing three interest. Doesn't matter. They're actually still at plus 20. They're over 20. Coal mines are a go over here. Transportation costs are high in Guerrero. Yeah, to the point of, like, input shortages for build buildings that are reliant on it. There's quite a few. So Nola. Texas. And I'll just build one in each place. We'll see what that does for us. And Guerrero, where I'm already building one. Yeah? Okay, good. Get those. I mean, we're burning through this queue very quickly, which makes sense, because we've got 40 freaking construction buildings. Pop group. No, I don't want to hurt the Intelligentsia pop group attraction. Oh, no matter what, we're going to lose some. Okay. So this is we pay money and get the minus 10% enactment chance. This one here, we get a setback, but it actually increased the success chance. So let's go with that. I think we're going to need more, um, more bureaucracy to support this. So, okay, taxes are fine everywhere. Yeah, we'll, we'll sort by peasants. Um, does it matter where they are? Not really. So I might still just want to build it in Mexico for scaling efficiency. I'm saying not enough qualifications, but I don't think that's true. You know what? I'll go and spread some of these out. Fine. I guess I think Mexico's got paper manufacturing. Ooh, we got a cool light national anthem. Nice. Oh, that just popped us from eight to seven. Just change there. Now, if we want to go any higher than this, we can't be in a market. But we've got a long way to go for Prussia. I don't think the um, the like, we are major power. What's the next rank called? Great power, I suppose. Yeah, great power. I don't think great power is really going to happen for us. Dynamite's been unlocked. That's actually stupendous. So dynamite is much safer than nitroglycerin. So we should see... Because with this, we increase his mortality. With dynamite, that increased mortality goes away when we increase our production. Um, the demand for explosives, explosives go up a lot. I'm going to go ahead and convert all these over to dynamite anyway. breaking. There's just not a lot of demand for sugar. I guess... Last, we don't have that much demand for liquor. I could add liquor to our armed forces. Oh! We've got vacuum evaporation here for more explosive production. Good. Let's do that. You know what? I'm going to go to the reinforced wooden ships. I know it's going to tank the clippers count. That's stupid. Um, oh, munition explosion cells, which will also eat more explosives, but produce more explo um, munitions, which is actually quite good for us. Okay, steel frame buildings is nearly done. Let's work with the Catholic Church for the guaranteed liberties. Okay, option one gives us a 15% enactment chance and lowers Catholic interest group, which is good. Option two doesn't give us as much enactment chance. Um but tanks the Catholic Church interest more and increases Intelligentsia even more. Let's do that. We want the Intelligentsia because we're hoping to run public schools, and they, they're the ones that support it. Prussia sides of Scandinavia. Oh! Scandinavia formed. Or it did, but there's also a Scandinavian peasant revolt all of a sudden. Oh. I wonder, did the war happen, or did Denmark end up just backing down? They may have. I didn't keep an eye on things. go good more than acme success and more support for intelligentsia that's great i feel like we need some glassworks now again there's vertical integration we know it's also good like we might just want more urbanization i think i'm gonna go and put five in texas five in california we got lots of peasants waiting to work in these places Maybe I'll put five new Yucatan. I think glass is going to be fairly pretty. Uh, homesteading, I don't know. Lots of movements, which is not going to be great for our radicals. Although our loyalists are now higher than our radicals, which is nice to see. Population, yeah, there you go. You can look at that uptick. It's been going like crazy. 
Oh, beautiful. Backroom dealings. I don't know if I would take another setback here. Our acting chance is already pretty high. Take a bureaucracy. We'll take a bureaucracy hit. That's fine. I mean, we're about to get some more over here. I mean, we'll use some up when we switch to guaranteed liberties, but that's fine. Speaking of, I haven't checked to see if our institution cap is higher. Actually, it is higher for education. We should do that once we get more, um, more bureaucracy. All right, there's a second setback. I can't believe our percentage chance is so high and we're just not succeeding. I mean, it's not exactly getting XCOM, but it sort of feels that way. Yeah, we should have more port buildings. That'll consume our cheap clippers as well. And we'll do kind of a smattering. We'll give it from infrastructure too. There we go. Government administration finishing. Steel frame building done. Pause. Heck, I think I said I was going to go for human rights. I knew that. Mutual fund does unlock a government type, which is kind of interesting. But no, we're going to go for human rights. Uh, urbanize. These would be nice to do a few of. Okay, and then before I forget, switch you to steel frame buildings. Which, yeah, is almost certainly, well, once we unpause, almost certainly going to kick up the cost of steel and explosives. But we'll deal with that. Philosophy department. This is level five university with a philosophy department. What is our best university currently? Ooh, there's no peasants available. Let's go. Um, Texas has a lot of peasants and may actually be lacking some of the institutions. I mean, they're on the front line here. We suck if we ever lost it, but I'm starting to feel like we're not going to lose it. All right, let's go to a oop, level five university in Texas. I clicked one too many times. And you're already there. We're going to make sure... Actually, I'm going to just make sure that all my universities are set to... Okay, you can get exempt. Oh! We have access to covered markets now. Which is going to tank the cost of services, but that's fine. It's good for our people. Uh, universities are in this... I don't know why it's not alphabetical. Is it not in this category? We have universities. Is it under development? It is. We'll make sure you're on philosophy department. That's going to be fine. Okay. Money going mega negative. Let me go and put this back for now. You know what? I'm going to balance out the military wages as well. Now, if we look here. It's actually the price of glass. Not steel. It's not explosives. It's glass. Renewer is already high. We are building some glassworks already, so that's going to help. Momentum for free trade, which is industrialist. Paper mill throughput. You know what? I'm going to do paper mill throughput. 92%. And there we go. I have enough. I'm going to run our education level up to level 3. It is going to give the Catholic Church more power for now. But... Again, we're going to switch over to uh, public schools when we can. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me this is a mega negative number. We can always go and limit our construction a little bit. We can, we can pause or whatever, just because we have a lot to maintain here. On the other hand, boosting this is going to help our economy so fast. Finally, we advance the next step of guaranteed liberties. Watch us fail now just because of the setbacks. Go, go, Glassworks. And yeah, I can't go to... Oh, I apparently can go to Born China here. I'm gonna I'll run the Texas glassworks onto bone China mode, even though glass is still wicked expensive. Alright, election. We're currently at 90%. I don't want to pull these guys in. I don't want to pull that in. Yeah, I'm happy with our government form the way it is. It's not making any more changes. That's private construction. Explosives. Oh, gold mines. Actually, yeah, if I can build more. Go. Let's make sure those get capped out, please. Finally to voting. Good. It's going fast now. I'm going to alt-click 
in Nevada and Durango to get them another railway. Industrial boom. Fertilizer plant throughput. Mines military. Fertilizer plant. Do we have fertilizer plants? Yeah, we have five with two more in construction. I think what we do is we get all our mines. Yeah, throughput. We do have a lot of mines. Electric telegraph. Okay. That's just from tech spread. Organization. Oh yeah, we need another another dude. Stalwart defender. I think the regular defend front is fine. Come on, success. Success, success. Nice. Guaranteed liberties. Okay. So that, we went from no uh, home affairs to some. So it is going to eat some more of our bureaucracy, as is this. So we are going to have to go and get some more of that going on. In fact, possibly, I might have to put it in front of our queue here. Places with a decent amount of peasants. I'm gonna throw some in there. Um, let me put the uh, the railways back in first, though. Then otherwise, you can work on that. So ships of the air is research zeppelins. Where I work on philosophy department. And there's no there's no cooldown for the colossus. Just need multiculturalism. We're working on the tech. So maybe we research zeppelins after this. Is that what lets us build the sky, uh, sky rise sky rises as well. Or it might be it might be too far down in the queue. Oh, we can go Zeppelin's next. Okay. Education's gone up. Oh, and we do still have some bureaucracy buffer. That's good. Labor movement unlocked. We do get some new law options. Oh, it's because we passed our... Um, okay, we passed our legal change. Cool, Guaranteed Liberties is in. Now, it's 17% with the private schools. Strict child labor, more education investment. It's going to be easy to pass. No one actually hates it. Let's do that right away. It's going to be an easy peasy. Okay, construction queue is nearing its end. Yeah, we are building tech a fast. Yeah, and then we're not using our, our stuff right now. How is the price of these goods right now? It is balanced now. What do we want to focus on? Let's take a look at the general market shortage. Tools. Price isn't crazy. And wood as well. The price is theoretically a little higher. We could finish off all our wood stuff and then just go back to making some tools. I don't know. I think I kind of want to do the tooling workshop first. Build five in Texas. And then... Bunch more lumber mills. Oh, glass price has gone up again. Oh, we actually have no alerts right now. Nothing. Everything is perfectly fine for the first time in all of history. I don't know how, but we'll take it. How's our standard living? 12.8, this continues to go up. Yeah, looking really, really good. I mean, the upper strata is doing exceptionally well. Double their minimum expected. Philosophy department completed. Um, I don't know if we need to university throughput. Well, you know what, maybe. We'll get it. Let's get those qualifications pouring through. Ooh, steamers are starting to be a thing. I don't know if our shipyards... Yeah. Our shipyards... I don't think we can produce steamers at all. That's weird. It's got the exclamation mark as if I could use it, but I can't. Yeah. I don't have the ability. I feel premium metals losing its productivity. My iron mines and lead mines not productive enough? I 
Maybe, because I currently have the thing where it's boosting... Oh, these iron mines are really not doing that well. Fuel prices are expensive. Not globally. Does California have low market access? Oh, it does. How come? Shipping lane effectiveness is low. Raid convoys. Um, I mean, we're not in a war. We have lots of convoys. Might be time to clean some of this up. How do we see shipping lane effectiveness? Yeah, everyone's got poor access because of the shipping lane stuff. Strength of a country's supply network reduced by any damage sustained in raid convoys. Effectiveness is below 100%. It's the entirety of the British market. I have lots of convoys. Oh, we got to do French wine. Can we import steamers? Russian steamers. And Austrian engines. Bring some of these in. Now, that's still not going to fix the uh, shortage. Although, you know what? I bet it is. The steamers. I bet you Great Britain. I'm sorry, what? Oh. Okay, well, this explains a few things. Yeah, okay. So I can't I can't take part in this, huh? But okay, everyone is supporting Great Britain against the revolutionary Great Britain. Okay. So that'll sort itself out soon. And then presumably everything will go back to being fine. We might not want to make any like dramatic changes to the structure of our production market here until that's done because we might be misinterpreting things. Um, I don't know Sardinia Pimo. I'm not sure that you're going to be helpful. I mean, I don't know who's going to be declaring war on you necessarily, but I think I'm going to say no. Huh. I do think we should build some more motor industries, though. I think that's fair. Which ideally would go in the state of Mexico itself. I think we've got enough workers. You know what? Let's bring up to, like, 10 total. You've got some peasants ready to go in Mexico. All right. Because I think Mexico's at, like, the steel industry and things, so it should be a pretty good place for us to build that up. Canada form, good for them. There you go. Restrict child labor. And we can go a level higher in education. Again, at the risk of increasing the Catholic Church political strength. But now we're going to switch over to public schools. It's going to be a little harder. We could have gone for private schools first just to break the stranglehold of um, the Catholic Church. Well, they've gone down a lot. And we're not even... We're not suppressing them. Because we don't have the authority. Um, how's your population? Or the screen is happy. Yeah, okay. Nevada's got tons of spares. Good. We're going to cancel your greener grasses campaign just to get this back to positive, please. Lovely. We do have a fair amount of radicals. The air. Urbanize. Yeah, I mean, I guess I can turn this on just to... So I know it's like four things here, four things here. That works out. Age of Cadillos continues to go down. And this is nearly done. How are your inputs? Coal's a little on the high side. So, with that in mind, you know, I think the demand for coal is going to continue to be pretty high. I'm just wondering about, like, completely maxing this out. And I'll build five in Oaxaca, and then I'll just do one more in these other places. There's already one being built in Guerrero, presumably by private. Yep. Textile mill is going to. Public schools. Uh, okay. Rallying the armed forces. Does give them more interest group of traction. 
I'm willing to do it here because I think we need a big boost to our success chance. So the plus 20 is actually going to be very nice here. There we go. That war is going to end soon. So big deficit right now because we are powering into a lot of construction. Construction prices are reasonable. Steel's a little higher, glass is a little higher, but nothing crazy. I can probably consider. Or steel mills, which ideally would be in Mexico itself. Yeah, I'll queue up five there. Then Veracruz. Bring up to five as well. It's just because Mexico State can use the steel a lot. It's got it's got a lot of the vertical integration, so they should be fairly efficient there. But yeah, the number of possible workers. I know it's got like 300,000 job seekers. These are people looking for upgrades, but they are working. Although presumably your population, yeah, we're still getting some migration, which is good. Maybe some natural birth rate as well. School organization, lowered enactment chance. I don't want that. Okay, this doesn't lower the chance, it lowers the time, or worsens the time, but that's gonna have to be okay. Colorado needs transportation. Go away. And California as well. Not quite fully stocked there. The bar wasn't 100% full, but mostly. Again! All right, so first of all, you're going to revoke your claim on Bass. We can add war reps because that's not warmongering. And this is just a tiny fraction of space. We do a full conquer. You know what? I just looked at the timer. I think I'm going to put a pause in here. I'm going to consider what I want to do, but we are going to ask for more here. I didn't build up more troops from this war in the last, but I felt like I didn't really need it the way things went last time. Hopefully that's still the case. Um, yeah, we're on our best modes that we know of. I do think, though, you know what? I think we will add liquor. Can I do this, like, globally here? I don't know if there's a fast way to do it for everything shift click to do all or anything like that that is increasing upkeep obviously but right now we, yeah, the thing is we the price for liquor is really cheap and we can keep it cheap by we're going to do this we're going to go into the patent stills over here because the liquor price it still looks like just pennies here like the copper coins but it's going to go up probably because the military demand and then we'll bring it back down with that keep our military prices all very manageable okay and then yeah i'm going to put a cut in here and then think about what i want to do war goal wise but I think the U.S. has got to start getting, like, punished for its aggression towards us. So let's see what we can do about it. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.